Well, good morning, and welcome to Morning Gospel Fuel with Mr. G. It is Tuesday, July 28th. July 28th. The feast day of Oklahoma's own Blessed Stanley Rother. He's from Okarchi, Oklahoma. Um, and he was the first U.S.-born priest and martyr to be beatified by the Catholic Church. And he died in, uh, he was martyred in Guatemala in 1981. I can't do him justice, um, but living in Oklahoma for the past couple years, um, I've learned a lot more about him. So I'm actually just going to share a video, and I'd highly encourage to watch it because it's pretty, he's got a pretty amazing, amazing story. Um, but anyway, uh, today's gospel is from Matthew chapter 13, verses 36 through 43. Let's begin in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Then, dismissing the crowds, he went into the house. His disciples approached him and said, Explain to us the parable of the weeds in the field. He said in reply, He who sows good seed is the Son of Man. The field is the world. The good seed, the children of the kingdom. The weeds are the children of the evil one, and the enemy who sows them is the devil. The harvest is the end of the age, and the harvesters are angels. Just as weeds are collected and burned up with fire, so will it be at the end of the age. The Son of Man will send his angels and they will collect out of his kingdom all who cause others to sin and all evildoers. They will throw them into the fiery furnace where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. Then the righteous will shine like the sun in the kingdom of their Father. Whoever has ears ought to hear. Okay, so we heard this... Uh, we heard this uh, two Sundays ago uh, as part of the gospel from Matthew. And I really, I really enjoy the, the, the reading the footnotes um, in, in my Bible um, this morning uh, where it says, you know, as far as after dismissing the crowds, uh, Jesus says, it says, The return of Jesus to the house marks a break with the crowds who represent unbelieving Israel. From now on, his attention to, is directed more and more to his disciples and to their instruction. The rest of the discourse is addressed to them alone. So Jesus is talking to his disciples only. But I, I like the fact that Jesus dismissed himself from the crowd um, because it seems like, like even Jesus himself, because he's God-made human, Jesus had to be so overwhelmed and so stressed and just, you know, just kind of fed up with a lot of the people that refused to believe in him. Um, so I can imagine that there were multiple times that he was just, you know, just almost disheartened, like almost someone had leapt the air out of, out of his soul just because of all the people that refused to believe in him, even though they saw the miracles that he was doing. And they still refuse. Like, I would be so frustrated um, knowing my personality. Um, but Jesus just takes a step away and moves forward. So I think and that I, I know I definitely have those. Uh, that's kind of what I'm trying to build myself up to doing whenever, I, especially whenever I talk about the sacraments of the Catholic Church, of the anti-Catholics who always attack the sacraments. I'm like, You're not going to believe me, so we'll just agree to disagree, and we'll find out who's right whenever we die. <laughs> because that's all I got, um, and I feel like that's the way Jesus was a lot, um, as I try to relate this to to this gospel to, to my life. Um, then I also like whenever he explains the, the parable, it says, In the explanation of the parable of the weeds, emphasis lies on the fearful end of the wicked, whereas the parable itself concentrates on patience with them until judgment time. So we are called, and you just look at the world today, of the, you, you know, because we got the, the wheat and the weeds, the good and the bad, and you just see it. And a lot of us like to focus so much on the weeds that are out there in the world right now. And we're like, we need to fix them, we need to fix them. But Jesus says in Scripture, it's from the beginning of time, the weeds and the wheat are going to be together. Um, so we just got to... You know, so he says, concentrate on patience with them until judgment time. Because even weeds, 
can be transformed into wheat. Um, and then, of course, if they don't transform, because we all have our free will, if the weeds don't transform into wheat, and I'm talking within this parable, um, in our world today, then it's not our job. Uh, you know, they're, they're condemning themselves. And, uh, you know, says that we'll be separated. The wheat and the weeds will be separated, and the weeds will be thrown into this fiery furnace. That's hell. So um, all we can do is control what we can control and do as best as we can. So that's the... That's the challenge today is to not be overwhelmed by modern society, by the amount of weeds that we pull our attention towards. Uh, we need to you know, focus on the wheat um, and the good and then do our best to, you know, hopefully by our influence and by our impact and by how we live our lives, if we can just convert at least one weed into a wheat. I'm pretty sure God will be very pleased. So there's our challenge. Have a great Tuesday. And God bless. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen.